homicides and gun violence here in the city of Lansing is much higher than it was in previous years. In fact, three people were shot and killed this past weekend alone, which is why Mayor Andy Short says he's starting a task force to decrease the number of people losing their lives to gun violence. We take this very seriously here in Lansing. We take any gun, gun violence very seriously, and um, we are we're going to take every step possible to you know, for the victims to, to find and bring to justice those that perpetrate the crime and then to prevent these things in the future as best we can. Mayor Andy Schur says he and his team is determined to bring gun violence to an end in the city. On Monday, Schur announced the creation of a gun violence task force. The task force will be made up of representatives from the mayor's office, police department, parks and recreations, and more. The mission is to get illegal guns out of the community. We're seeing uh, illegal guns are, are causing all kinds of problems. We know that there's a lot of them out there. Uh, we're taking a lot of them off the streets. I think we've taken over 100 off the street just this year. Lansing is dealing with an all-time high number of homicides. Police say there have been 14 this year, and out of those, 13 involved gun violence. At this time last year, there had been five homicides, and four of those involved a gun. It's happening everywhere. It's happening all over the country. We're seeing gun violence increase all over the country and, and Lansing is not exempt from that. Um, and you know, certainly we don't ever want to see anybody uh, victim of gun violence. We want to keep the guns out of the hands of the criminals, the illegal guns out of the hands of the criminals. Um, and we want to make sure that that it doesn't happen. On Sunday afternoon, police say 41-year-old Melvin Darnell Pinder shot and killed himself after assaulting three people in an attempted murder-suicide. In early Monday morning, two teenagers were shot and killed and two others were wounded in an incident near Rotary Park. And you're never going to 100% solve the problem because there's always domestic issues and there's always other, not always, there can be domestic issues, there can be other uh, criminal pieces tied to it, but um, we're going to do everything we can to, to make sure that uh, we can prevent. Now we reached out to the Lansing Police Department to get their perspective on things, and they provided this statement saying in part, the Lansing Police Department is working with its local, state, and federal law enforcement partners and other city stakeholders to demonstrate that we want peace in our city. They also said we want those shooters and others exhibiting violence to know the law enforcement is actively collaborating to locate and arrest violent offenders. Again, that's a statement from the Lansing Police Department. For now, we're here in Lansing. Larry Wallace, Fox 47 News.